Hey there, I'm Molly from SRAM, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to size a new chain for a mountain bike and how to install it. For this procedure, we'll need a new chain with a master link, a chain breaker tool, and a master link plier if you're removing an old chain. Let's review the SRAM chain sizing procedures so that you can confidently size and install a chain on your one by, two by, or three by drivetrain. To size your chain on all drivetrains, wrap the chain around your largest chain ring and your largest cog, pulling the ends together without rooting through the root derailleur or front derailleur. This is where the procedure varies depending on your bike and drivetrain. One by, two by, three by, and eagle drivetrains require different lengths of chain. On this chart from the cassette and chain user manual, you can see the different lengths of chain needed for each type of drivetrain and style of frame, depending on if your bike is a full suspension or hardtail. For this scenario, I'm sizing to a full suspension frame with a one by eagle drivetrain. On full suspension frames, we have to compress the frame linkage to its full travel position. If this isn't done, you can size your chain too short. Short chains cause damage to the drivetrain or to the frame at full compression, since the bike's chain stay length grows when the suspension is compressed. To compress the linkage, either let all of the air out of your shock after recording your pressure, or remove the shock from the frame, allowing the linkages to move freely. Once fully compressed, hold the linkages in place using a toe strap, old inner tube, or anything else that gets the job done. To size the chain for an Eagle drivetrain on a full suspension frame, we need to add two links, one inner and one outer, to the wrapped length of the chain. Again, the chain length is specific to your drivetrain and bike, so consult the user manual prior to cutting. Make sure that the chain breaker tool that you use is compatible with your chain. When cutting the chain, make sure to leave an inner link on both ends to connect the power lock or power link. When your overlap and extra links land in the middle of a link or on an outer link, you should err on the long side and leave some additional chain intact. Remember, you can always remove additional chain later if needed. Before installing the chain, shift the rear derailleur into the smallest gear. Once you've cut the chain to length, route it through the rear derailleur cage and pulleys, making sure the chain is behind the pulley cage tab. If you go in front of this tab, you'll hear a loud noise while pedaling and could permanently damage the rear derailleur. If working on a two by or three by system, also route the chain through the front derailleur. Once the chain is installed properly through the derailleurs, around the chain ring, and around the cassette, install the power link or power lock. Power links are used on seven, eight, and nine speed chains and are reusable. Power locks are used on 10, 11, and 12-speed drivetrains, as well as 8-speed e-bike chains, and are a one-time use item. If a power lock is removed, you must use a new power lock when reinstalling the chain. All power locks have an arrow which shows the direction of travel of the chain when being pedaled while viewed from the outside. Since this is a 12-speed Eagle drivetrain, we will be using a 12-speed Eagle power lock to connect the newly routed chain. To install the power lock, pull each end of the chain together and install the outer half of the link with the arrow pointing in the direction of chain travel. Install the inner half of the link into the other end of the chain. Once both ends are installed, press the link halves together and align the pins into the slots in the opposite link half and pull. Now rotate the cranks until the power lock is above the chain stay. Make sure the arrow is still pointing in the direction of travel. Pull the rear brake lever and hold the wheel in place, and press firmly on the pedals. You should hear and see the power lock fully engage and click into place. Visually inspect both sides of the power lock to make sure that both pins are fully seated. Make sure the links still move freely and that they don't bind. Once your power lock or power link is installed, shift through your gears to ensure the chain was sized properly. For a full suspension frame, you can reinstall or reinflate your shock at this time. When the chain is in the largest chain ring and cassette cog, you can check that the rear derailleur cage still has the ability to move forward and is not fully extended. If you find that it is already fully extended, you may need to add additional chain using multiple power locks to prevent damage to your drivetrain. And that's it. 
Consult your user manual for your specific derailleur for instructions on fine-tuning your drivetrain. Once you've got the bike shifting properly in the stand, you're ready to ride with your new SRAM chain. Be sure to check out our drivetrain cleaning video to learn how to clean, maintain, and when to replace your SRAM chain. Thanks for watching.